In this video, we're gonna talk about the 12 things you need to know before moving to Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'm gonna share exactly what you need to know before moving to Ann Arbor. So make sure you stick around to the end because I'm also gonna share what the latest and greatest up and coming neighborhood is according to me. So stay tuned because we're getting after it right now. Hey, if you're new to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, sleeping, eating, breathing, and playing right here in Ann Arbor, Michigan, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, tap that bell so you're notified every time we drop a new video. My name is Eric Meldrum and my team and I are getting calls, texts, and emails literally every single day from people just like you, 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 and you who want our help moving to Ann Arbor. And we absolutely love it. So whether you're considering moving in one month or one year, you got to get a hold of us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. So we want to help make that a smooth move to Ann Arbor. All right, so let's get into it. Here's the 12 things you need to know before moving to Ann Arbor, starting with number one, which is annual events. Some of the biggest events happen here in Ann Arbor, but there's also some great events in the surrounding cities, um, such as Dexter, Saline, Brighton, and Northville, Plymouth. Some of those cities have their own great events, but one of the biggest events here in Ann Arbor is what's called the Ann Arbor Art Fair. If you haven't heard of it, we'll drop a link below in the description. Um, it, this is an amazing event. Artists come from all over the world. People come to see their art from all over the world and country. And it's just one of those big, massive events that Ann Arbor is really, really known for. Being an art community, Ann Arbor already has an amazing artist. And this just really ties the, the culture and the vibrant art community together by hosting this annual event every single year. All right, coming in number two is the food. So if you're a foodie kind of like me, I don't call myself a foodie, but I can throw down some burgers. I can throw down some tacos, whatever you want to do. I'm game for it. I like all sorts of foods. And Ann Arbor has been an amazing place for me and my wife and kids to explore new restaurants and just new culinary experiences. So if you're somebody that likes food, we got a lot of food options here in Ann Arbor, ranging from Mexican to Cuban inspired food, all the way from Chinese, Korean barbecue, Thai places, you name it, we got it. The food here is amazing. And if you pair that with some you know, local breweries, you get yourself an amazing experience. All right, coming in at number three is the outdoors. So if you're somebody that likes to just be outside, enjoy nature, Ann Arbor is a great place to do that. The city is super walkable. And the surrounding area has a ton of recreational centers, such as the Waterloo Recreational. This is a, a place that has 20,000 acres full of biking trails and just really fun activities for, for you and the kids or you and the family to do. If you like to be on the river or maybe you want to do a water activity, uh, the surrounding area, there's tons of lakes um, that you can go to. Some of them have public beaches. The Waterloo also has a public beach too. Um, but you can kayak and canoe, which runs right through downtown Ann Arbor. All right, coming in at number four is the nightlife. So if you're somebody that likes to go out, have a good time, Ann Arbor, you can find a lot of things to do in Ann Arbor. You have things like the Blue Llama Jazz Club, the comedy clubs, there's concert venues here in the city. There's just always something going on. But in addition to all the fine dining, you just want to relax the night out for a nice dinner that can be found pretty much on every street corner. All right, number five is population. Here in Ann Arbor, it is the sixth largest city here in Michigan and the 251st largest city throughout the entire United States. So if you're looking for somewhere that doesn't have a lot of people, um, but is still a really, really awesome downtown area with a lot of things to do, Ann Arbor is probably the perfect place for you. It's less densely populated than a lot of the other cities, such as like Royal Oak, Birmingham, Ferndale, um, but it's less populated on the outer outskirts of Ann Arbor. So if you're looking to get a little bit more room when you move into a home, you can move into some cities like Dexter, Saline, Brighton, Pinckney, all those areas give you a lot more, but you're really close to the city. All right, so number six is diversity. So who lives here? Who lives in Ann Arbor? What type of people? Well, all walks of life. 
I mean, this is probably the one of the most diverse cities I've ever lived in my entire life. We have the second highest Japanese population in the state of Michigan. 17.4% of foreign born residents live right here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. So if you're looking for a city with diverse population and some awesome cuisine, then Ann Arbor is probably for you. All right, number seven is the shopping. And no, we're not talking about Macy's or JCPenney's or any of those big box stores that you can find in every major city. Yes, they do exist here in Ann Arbor, um, but we're talking about local shopping downtown Ann Arbor. So when you head downtown, down to Main Street, you're going to find some art galleries, some local artists in the shops that have you know, things like uh, birdhouses and just local things that people are making. Remember, Ann Arbor is all about the arts and there's tons of people who do some amazing craftsmanship here in the city and they're showcased in a lot of these local stores. So you can find a lot of those there and then head over to Carytown on the weekend and they host a local farmer's market, which local farmers and local artisans showcase all of their products at. Number eight is all about location, location, location. And if you're moving to Michigan, you better get familiar with how to tell people where you're going on your hand. This is Michigan, and right here is Ann Arbor. We're about 45 minutes from Detroit, and we're about 45 minutes from the border of Ohio. Some other cool cities on the outskirts of Ann Arbor are places like uh, Howell, Brighton, uh, Milford, Plymouth, Northville, Saline, Dexter. All these places are alternative options if you're looking to be close to Ann Arbor, close to Metro Detroit, uh, but not in Ann Arbor specifically. We've also done some videos on those places as well, so check those out in the link below. Number nine is how family-friendly Ann Arbor is. So things like downtown Ann Arbor have actually some pretty cool things. You got the hands-on museum, take the kids in there, they're going to tinker for hours, let them run around, play with stuff. They got science experience. They're also going to learn a ton of stuff down there as well. So check out the hands-on museum. Um, another cool thing that my girls love to do, and which is my household family favorite, is the secret fairy door hunt that they have downtown Ann Arbor. Um, so with the arts and just people you know, wanting to create stuff, um, they created these fairy doors that are on local businesses on the outside of, of the brick and mortar. And you can, they actually have a map. We'll put the map in the description below, but you can go around downtown Ann Arbor, follow the map, and do a fairy door hunt. And then they'll have these little like scenes set up inside. Some of them are big, some of them are just small doors. They're decorated, um, it's super cool. And my girls absolutely love it. All right, number 10 is the school system here in Ann Arbor, which is ranked the second best school system in the nation. I mean, you can't, there's only one more above this. I don't even know what it is, but there's only one more above this. That's some of the best school systems around. People move from all over the country to send their kids to Ann Arbor school systems. They have a ratio of 15 to one. So for every 15 students, there's one teacher uh, for that. So you get a more personal experience from what I'm, what I'm told. Um, you also have other schools, private schools here in the area that people move from around the country to send their kids to as well. So whether you're sending it to public or private, you got a ton of options here. The number 11 is the cost of living. Well, I'll be the first to tell you that Ann Arbor is not cheap but it's not super expensive either. The closer you get to downtown Ann Arbor, the more you're gonna pay. Just like any major city, condos, downtown Ann Arbor in the high rises, those are gonna be more expensive. As you get further out, the cost of living is gonna go down a little bit, but from the national average, Ann Arbor is not that expensive. Um, it's actually below the national average. And you're gonna have what's called township taxes. Township taxes are gonna be lower than the city taxes, and save you a couple bucks in the long run. All right, number 12 and the last one on the list is the tours. So if you're new to the city and you wanna get acquainted with it, I've got a list of tours that we're gonna put in the description below, but some of the some of the best tours that we recommend are tours like the sidewalk food uh, tours, Zingerman food tours, these are all foods. See, I told you this is a foodie town. Um, high five pedal tours, the Jiffy Mix plant tour in nearby Chelsea, and they also have a Michigan Stadium tour. So you can go check out the stadium, look in the big house. One of the best tours that I, I've done. That stadium is absolutely amazing. So I'd recommend any of those if you want to get acquainted. And of course, if you're moving here and you want to see the housing market, just contact us and we'll take you around.
All right, so that's a wrap. And we have our bonus for you now. So thanks for sticking around to the end. Um, we're going to talk about what I think is the latest up and coming neighborhood right here in Ann Arbor. And without further ado, that neighborhood is the Dickens neighborhood. The reason I love the Dickens neighborhood is, is because it's now turning. It's turning from families that have raised their kids there. And these are homes that are reasonably priced. So if you're looking to get into the city and have a reasonable price home and get a lot of bang for your buck, Dickens is going to be a place for you. This is on the southwest side of Ann Arbor, really close to the freeway. And the schools, again, I mean, you can't beat them. There's only you know so many schools in Ann Arbor and they're all great. But Dickens is, is one of the best neighborhoods that I think is up and coming. And you'll see a lot of activity in that neighborhood in the next years. As always, if you got questions, drop them in the comments below. We'll try to get those answered as soon as possible. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified every time we come out with a new video. If you're considering moving to Ann Arbor, relocating or investing in real estate here in Ann Arbor, give us a call, shoot us a text, shoot us an email. Doesn't matter how you get a hold of us. We're here to help make your move to Ann Arbor as smooth as possible.